Previously, on hey, Parker gets to say it this time. Oh, Parker. A man after my own heart. Yeah. The best Italian. No one could have lived through that. And stories of their resurrection are true. Then the setup that got Jill and Parker, it was all. <laughs> it's a trap! Yeah, I'd almost guarantee it. But Ryan, this would make a really good HBO TV series. TV <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like zombie Much killing. better than those stupid fucking movies, at least. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't have HBO, though, so. I wouldn't know. It blows my mind that they took a tugboat here, of all things. Well, a tactical tugboat. Oh no. David Bowie, why? Get your mouse out of the middle of the screen. It, it just does that. Like, it'll appear whenever I'm not playing games, which is irritating. Oh yeah, we were discussing David Bowie, but we're not gonna do that yet. Terra Grigia. One year ago. They really love the flashbacks at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Still hurting, Cadet? No. He just I looks so hot blooded, like, I wanna way. kill these goddamn terrorists. The city is finished. Also, I hate to say that, but his in game model looks so bad. I call him David Bowie because he's pretty much the Goblin King. <laughs> Well, it's kind of everyone's model is terrible, because it's a 3DS game. Uh, it just seems like it's only his. Everybody else looks normal and fine. David Bowie just... He makes the best faces possible, though. Yeah. It's really great. Also, I'm gonna resupply. Because we just leave all this ammunition on desks. Parker, come in. The facility has been breached. We're closing shop. Prepare to go home. Split up and get to the helipad on the roof. This guy makes it sound like this is just business as usual, like, oh, zombie apocalypse, let's pack up home. Make sure they reach mm. the heliport. So I totally didn't get it, like, until about halfway through playing this level, that that is Jessica. Yeah, I didn't get it later. until, like, the end of the game. Also, I bet you didn't know about this. Oh, I knew that happened. Oh, really? Huh. Yes. I, I pay attention to the secrets. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't know about the uh, scanner at the beginning, but you know about this. Is the general's voice actor the guy who just does uh, Campbell in Metal Gear? Which one, uh, O'Brien or Morgan? Uh, O'Brien, I think the guy, like the BSA oh, yeah, I, guy. I don't know. He reminds me of Campbell's voice actor. Yeah, it really does sound like... It really does sound like Colonel Campbell. Yeah, Ellie. <laughs> I just noticed it now. Wow. I like Morgan, though. He just sounds so deliciously evil. And he looks so evil. It's great. <laughs> yeah, he's even got, like, the evil fucking goatee and shit. And he just looks so prim and proper compared to everyone else. Solutions of yours will only create a new Veldro. Perhaps a dozen of them. Just wait until he uh, he rips off his face mask though and reveals Wesker. Oh god. No. Uh, I just spoiled the end of the game, oh no. Why would you do this? And he'll just let all those people die. Are you finished now, Director O'Brien? Ah, I'm trying to remember what uh, Morgan's voice is. Like it sounds so familiar to me, but I can't put my no finger on it. Yes, sir. Hmm. Oh, there goes David Bowie. <laughs> His limp is awesome. Yeah, it's nice that they put detail into that. He just looks so pathetic. So, who's ready for some high-paced action with the best Italian on the planet? I thought he was German. I don't know. Also, hunters are back. They're pretty much exactly like hunters in RE1. So, uh, this is a crossover with Cabela's, right? Yes, we're hunting the hunter. And we're gonna absorb their skulls. Also, if you're wondering, I don't have the scanner for this, so we're not gonna be seeing that all the time. Yeah, that, um, that worried me when I was playing this, but then, like, you get a million, uh, fucking herbs, yeah. so... Also, Parker's, uh, melee is kind of the best thing on the planet. 
All of the melee stuff is so awkward looking. I don't know, I like Parker's just because it's so funny. He just looks like he's never been in a melee fight before. He probably never has, he's a gentle giant. Yes. Also, his melee has AoE. Oh, nice. I just killed two of those fuckers at once with the people's elbow. Do all of the melee attacks or finishes have AoE or just Parker? I think some do. I know Jill's does, Parker's does. I don't think Chris's does because it's a straight uppercut. Hmm. I'd have to see all the melee. I don't think the DLC characters have uh, AoE melee. That takes care of that. Right. Now it's our turn to get on that chopper. That elevator should still be operational. This way. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that uh, Jessica goes from being a perfectly capable mailing copycat to whatever she was in Chapter Two. Well, she's a uh, she's a character of mystery. Yeah, I love this design. It looks great. Why did they change her so hard? Eh. Oh. oh, hello. Why did they change uh, Jill to like a fucking blonde bombshell in 5? They actually yeah. give a reason for that in-game. It's really dumb. Like, if You know they designed the character first and yeah. then like, came up with the reason later. Though. Yeah, especially since it's, it's in a giant text dump. Can you play a... Uh, Every version of Jessica in the raid mode? Yeah, you can. Okay. Also, even one year ago, Jessica is still a harlot. Who is your next partner? Is it Jill? Do you trust me? <laughs> Why do you talk about Jill so much? Jessica, I don't even know who that is. We're kind of in a problem here. Yeah, this is, like... Everybody complains about how Ari is way too action-oriented nowadays, but... At least in this game, they pace it well. Like, you know for a fact that this is an action segment, and then they just kind of, like, pile it on pretty great. Uh, chapter 2 and 3... A very actiony, and I kind of expected that the rest of the game would be like that. But this, until like maybe the very end, there's not much more action in the game. Yeah, like, it's mostly the survival horror stuff, which I liked. You know, like I thought it was done well. Yeah, like I'm not discounting that the action is bad. It was just bad in RE5. <laughs> I, I I actually like how it's based. Like it, uh, this kind of slow build up makes it you know work better. Yeah. Also, my sweetheart. Man, I love shotguns. Big guns. Big guns go boom, let's kill zombies. But first, let's read. This is a long one, by the way. You just overlay some music on this. Well, we already have music. It's, it's perfect. Oh, damn it. The FBC is in charge of protecting the United States and no one else. Oh, of course. It's federal. It's not international. Oh, yeah, that's true. But where does Terra Grecia lie, then? I thought Terra Grecia was, like, a super city or something. Yeah, but I don't think it lies within, like, any, you know, territories because it's in the ocean. Well, like, Hawaii is part of America, and that's <laughs> yeah, not true. Ocean. That is true. <laughs> I know more about America than you do. America's territories are weird. We have fucking Alaska as well. Also, man, this place is a mess. You can just tell there's a bunch of uh, secret uh, shit there you can't get because you can't scan. Yeah, go figure. Ah. Fuck off, Hunter. I'm busy. I'm busy using this dumb pop gun. Is this the only time you go to Terra Grecia, or am I, uh, or am I forgetting? There's other times that you see Terra Grecia in actual gameplay. Okay. This is the only pod I really remember. Also, man, Parker gets the P90. The gun's so great that American presidents use it in Metal Gear. 
Metal Gear. Everybody seems to like the P90. I see it in every video game. I'm not a huge fan of it, though. I don't know anything about guns. Uh... I guess that's the price for paying you pay for not being American. I don't have freedom. <laughs> I really hate these empty lockers so much. They're so deceptively like alluring. What do you think about that O'Brien guy? The BSAA director? Not my type. What a hussy. That's not what I meant. All this fucking innuendo. He needs to stand up to General Morgan. Yeah, I agree. I think the scene was supposed to be while I was fighting stuff, but I didn't enter the door, so they're just yelling for no reason. Well, it kind of makes more sense than them, like, doing it during a fight and having all this stupid, you know, yeah. chat, but at the same time, they're supposed to be, like, running because Terra Gracia is about to explode. Yeah, that's true. Also, this hunter doesn't stand a chance. I was kind of hoping you'd kill him before he got over the yeah. wall. I wanted to save my shotgun shells, because I this thing is really useful later on. It's always useful. Yes, shotguns are always useful. That's why nobody uses them. Hello. Now this is unfortunate, because you are not invincible during melee. So you gotta sit at a bright. My my iframes. Hey man, iframes are great. Also synchronized death. After all that, we finally found the stairs. Now we can't go down. I'm surprised how uh, how big the levels can get in the 3DS. Like, yeah, you know, I didn't expect them to be this huge. Yeah, that's pretty great. The on the sixth floor. Hurry. Like to be fair, they repeat the same textures and shit constantly. But really, because I've know. never noticed. Well, it's all the same like walls and crap. Like, mm, yeah, I guess. Also, I like how you can't open the door because Parker's like, Hey, have some common sense. I need to go to the sixth floor. The next room, the room with the elevator. No, no it's, it's this area. Room. Also, you're gonna love this. Check out this grenade shot. Nice. Like, if you're really good with grenades, this room is a ca is a cakewalk. But um, I don't have that kind of luck. Get good, son. I don't play basketball. Come on. Can you uh, can you sneak through this room without fighting them all? You can, but this is a zombie killing game. You have to kill all of the zombies indiscriminately. I must kill the demons. Oh fuck. That hunter almost ate my face. Also, you probably don't know about this since you haven't played Resident Evil 1, but the hunters still have their instant death attack where they completely decapitate you, and even the camera does the same thing as in Resident Evil 1 where they don't show the decapitation. Huh. It's pretty great. Like, I enjoyed that a lot when I saw it. Made me smile. I don't think I ever had that happen to me, because I'm good at games, and so don't die in one hit. Hey, it was a blind playthrough. Are you kidding me? A dead end? <laughs> Emphasis on dead. This looks like the fucking Grey Fox hallway. <laughs> like, no, it's not enough corpses. Of course yes. We're getting a lot of Metal Gear in this episode, aren't we? Yeah. Oh well. Okay, I'm coming. That just looks silly. Like, they're hopping around like gorillas. See, she shouldn't have worn her fucking pencil skirt in a tactical situation, and then maybe, you know... Well, she was expecting like, to be like been able to run away. where you don't where you do not do anything and just help out on the comm, but then she's suddenly like, like, oh fuck, I need a gun? I should have worn my tactical underwear. Huh? Now, how are you familiar... Are you familiar with the concept of a boss fountain? Uh, nope. I am familiar with this room though, and it pissed me off a lot because it was really hard. <laughs> really? I didn't have much of a problem with it. Well, I guess I'm just crap. 
There is something. Explain boss fountain. There is something that's really uh, like bad though. You'll see when we actually get to the elevator, something really horrible happens. Damn! Come on. They're almost here. I also like this area. I wish stuff looked like this in real life. Aside from you know the zombies. I wish real life ran at 1080p and 60 FPS. <laughs> yes. Also, I think this might have been hard for you because you were playing on the 3DS, but I'm playing on a PC. This is a joke. Does the, uh... Oh, she just did her, uh, her melee attack. There you go. Yeah, that was great. Um... Does this game have a quick turn on the PC? Like, yeah. quickly do a three, uh, 180 or whatever? Yeah, it's a space bar. I just don't uh, do it often because I'm dumb. Yeah, there's no need to on the PC. I mean, the spacebar is also your dodge backwards, which is really good, too. Also, stand still, asshole. I want to shoot you. Come on. You've got to lead your shots. Ugh. The hunter is now hunting the hunter. It's all one big metagame of being in the food chain with zombies. Behind the elevator door is the hunter. Game over, man. I always love segments like this where you can shoot people when they're jumping over something because it reminds me of uh, Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> you know the scene. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. great. Ma maybe, uh, maybe the guys who developed Resident Evil took some uh, cues from it. Uh, I doubt it, but uh, I wish. I'd love to see a character that's basically low pan. That's why we have Marlo Briggs. So when are we getting a Resident Evil with a uh, Terry Bogard as the main character? That'd be something, but I don't think SNK is on that hard a time. <laughs> now here's the part I mentioned. Mm. I'm supposed to press the elevator button. Yeah, but there's a slight problem. I can't move. If you're wondering what- Did, did Jessica phase into you yeah, or something? Yeah, she phased like... into me and blocked me. <laughs> so I had to take a bunch of hits on the chin. Luckily the shotgun's good at clearing a party. The bouncer should wear a suit. Crazy. I can't believe Morgan decided to fry the city with the solar I can't believe Morgan wants to destroy something with future tech. So I don't know much about Resident Evil, but I don't think they ever launched an ion cannon on Raccoon City. No, Raccoon City got hit with a bunch of uh, ICBMs with nukes, so it basically got evaporated in the same way. This is just more environmentally oh, so, friendly. So it's like fear. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. It all comes together. Fear is part of Resident Evil. What? God, Jessica's just such a high-class lady. And by high-class, I mean Parker's gold digger. Parker's so accommodating. Yes, Parker is the true main character. He is, though. It feels like they wanted to make this a spin-off game about Parker, and then they're like, Oh, fuck, we better put uh, Chris and Jill in there, otherwise it might not sell. Okay. Yeah. It's sad. Because, like, they're so tacked on. I'm a man. I don't need to hang on to elevators or helicopters. Yeah, they're, they're very different things, I think. <laughs> Elevator helicopters. Make it happen. Actually, a helicopter would be an elevator because it elevates you. I think you're thinking too hard about this. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's pretty hard to it's pretty hard to comment about an orbital ion cannon that's ruining everything when I first saw that I thought all those like solar panels were falling off of the uh, the space laser and I was like oh well, it's not working they make it really confusing like visually
It's amazing how much thermal expansion can fuck up everything on the Earth. I wish you could get a, uh, a solar cannon as a weapon <laughs> in this game. Oh, that would be so cool! I was waiting for that, like, I thought, like, maybe the hunters would have, like, a... Uh, you know, bullet immunity, so you'd need to use, nah. you know, an upgrade on the, uh... Hunters were always about scanner. being fast and fucking merciless, but they never had, like, the durability of, say, the Titan or... Ah, uh, what's another good zombie? Nemesis. Yeah. That's all I know about Resident Evil is Nemesis. Mr. X. No more. <laughs> you gotta be poetic, man. Come on. Yeah, I... It, like, that That feels like what, you know, the game was supposed to be, like, like it should have been about Jessica and Parker, not about Jill and Chris. Yeah. Because, like, that scene has more, like, memorable shit in it than the entire rest of the game with Chris and Jill. It's so true. Oh, well. At least we get to enjoy more Parker and... Parker and Jessica as we go through the game. We just have to... Maybe maybe for Resident Evil 2. We just have to deal, deal with the... The stuff. return of Terra Grisha. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool if you could go into Terra Grisha. I'd love it.